All right, now come over to this wall here. Come and watch. Okay, so you're taking your right hand on the wall for Parjva Hastasana, side hand pose. And I see that my right hand is in line to the shoulder, the feet are under the hips, the left hand is on the hip with the elbow pointing back, so I keep that collarbone long and the shoulder blade in. Now before I do any actions on my right arm, which is crucial for this pose, I want to press very much into the heels and move the thighs back so that when I roll now, the inner upper arm out, my right inner upper arm out, I don't throw the legs or the abdomen forward. And the heel of the hand should be fully spread on the wall with the fingers turning back. So I roll that inner upper arm out, and then I release. You're gonna feel it all the way to the sternum and to the spine, possibly. Okay, let's, let's do it. So spread along this wall, that wall, Oh, okay, you can all cram in, but no, you can use this wall too. Now take the right hand on the wall, <clears throat> take the left hand on the hip with the elbow pointing back, so the collarbone is wide and the shoulder blade is in. Okay, now see that the right hand is even in line to your shoulder, the right hand in line to your right shoulder. Yeah, Pilar, move your hand just a wee bit forward. And Megan, take your hand a little down, Lyle, hand a little down. Yeah, and look at it and see that it's in line to your shoulder. And the fingers are pointed back. I didn't say this in the demo, but make sure the fingers are fully spread. Yeah, fully spread, that's it. Good, and the heel of the hand should spread from the center to the side. Now, press the heels down and lift your knees and thighs to move the thighs back, move the thighs back. Keep the thighs back and the top buttock down, and without disturbing the legs, roll your right inner upper arm out. The right inner upper arm has to roll from inside out. That elbow joint also has to lift. Roll the inner upper arm out. Roll the inner upper arm out. Get the inner upper arm rolled out, and get that elbow joint to lift. That elbow joint, good. That elbow joint has to lift. Some of you are doing well. Get the heel of the hand to spread more. See, look at the heel of your hand. It's not on the wall, so you have to practice this every day. <laughs> Get the inner upper arm to turn out and the thighs back. Press the heels. Roll that inner upper arm out strongly and lift that elbow joint. Good, good, yes. Okay, now release the arm down and turn to the other side. Take the left hand on the wall and line to your left shoulder, right hand on your hip. The feet hip width apart, parallel to each other, the edges parallel. Press the heels, right hand on the hip. Point the right elbow back. Now press the heels to lift the knees and thighs and move the thighs back, keeping the top of the buttock down. And then spread the left heel of the hand, the fingers, and roll the left inner upper arm very strongly out. Roll it strongly from inside out. Roll it from inside out. Roll that elbow from inside out. Not just when I'm coming by you. <laughs> Get that elbow joint to roll and lift. That elbow should lift. Roll the inner upper arm out. This elbow should lift. Do you see, look at that elbow. And that outer elbow should lift. That's correct. And spread the fingers. Rolling the inner upper arm out, good. Now change the sides once again. Repetition is good. Are you feeling that through the ribs even to the sternum? Such a simple pose. How powerful. Now see that the outer edges of the feet are parallel. Take the left hand on your hip. Point the elbow back so the collarbone is wide and the shoulder blade is in. Good, you're all doing. Now roll the inner upper arm out, keeping the thighs back. See if you can get that tricep muscle now onto the bone instead of it dangling to the floor, get that tricep muscle onto the bone and get that elbow lifted. To a hand a little back, your right hand's a little forward of your shoulder and that's not the healthy side. Take the hand back, yeah, and roll that inner upper arm out. I bet you feel this. I do. Yeah, roll, are you practicing this? Mm -hmm. Good, roll the inner upper arm out. Your right hand also has to go back. Look at your hand so you see where it's in line to the shoulder. Roll the inner upper arm out and get the tricep muscle Firm on the bone. Get it firm on the bone. And then change the sides. Left hand on the wall. In line to the shoulder. Right hand on the hip, point the right elbow back. 
to keep the shoulder blade in, heels firm, lift the thighs to take the top thigh back, and then the top of the buttock down. And roll the inner upper arm out, get the heel of the hand, that side's not as intelligent, <laughs> and take that left hand a little more back, take it a little more back. Yeah, get the left heel of the hand to spread, roll the inner upper arm out to so the triceps firm onto the bone, and get that elbow joint to be straight. Let, raise your hand a little bit higher. Yeah, roll the inner upper arm out. Get the tricep firm on the bone. Tricep firm. Good. Keep the chin lifted. Look forward. Eyes quiet. Breathe through the nose, not through the mouth. Take your left hand a little bit down. Yeah, and keep that shoulder down. Roll, yeah, that's it. Roll the inner upper arm out. Move your left hand now a little back, Shay, and spread the fingers. Do you see the knuckles have to be on the wall? Roll the inner upper arm out. Good. Okay, now take the left hand down. Now, <clears throat> come and look here. I'm gonna use Pilar. Take the right hand on the wall, left hand on the hip. Okay, and the hand is turned back as before. Let's roll this sleeve up. Okay, now you're repeating this third round. You, do you see where I'm pointing on her elbow joint? This is what I'm calling the outer elbow. This is what I'm calling the inner elbow. This is also the inner elbow. This is also the outer elbow, but in terms of the edges, I'm calling this, maybe you might think it's something else, but it's the outer elbow, okay? I put my finger on your outer elbow, so you have to lift that. You have to keep the hand in line to the shoulder, rolling that inner upper arm out. Now, this is going to be looking deceptively simple. <laughs> You're going to keep the inner upper arm roll out, but turn the fingers up from the outer elbow to the root of the thumb, turn the skin in. So the inner upper arm rolls out. As you look at your hand, that will help. Look at the hand. And you may have to crawl the fingers. You have to crawl and turn the fingers up. Turn the fingers up, uh, uh, up, but keep that inner upper arm, arm rolled out, thighs back, and roll the skin of the outer elbow to the root of the thumb, and get each and every knuckle on the wall. Yeah, roll the inner upper arm out. Get that elbow to lift and roll the forearm in. Let's do it for the last round. Did you understand that? Left hand on the hip, right hand on the wall, in line to the shoulder. So we're starting the same as before. The right hand is turned out. So Pilar, start again. <laughs> I think your hand was a little forward. So see that the right hand is in line to your shoulder. And spread the fingers, spread the fingers. Get the knuckles open, press the heels and keep the thighs back. Don't over pull that left shoulder back. Get the fingers, the knuckles on the wall. See, look at your hand, that will help. Each and every knuckle should be flush onto the wall. So you need to do this, it starts with the hand. Roll the upper arm out. Get the outer elbow to strongly lift up. Lift that outer elbow up, roll the upper arm out, now, look at your hand, because this will help. You have to turn the right fingers up now, slowly, keeping the inner upper arm rolled out. You might have to wiggle the fingers a little to get the hand to point up, and then readjust the right inner upper arm rolled out, point the fingers totally up, and get that elbow, outer elbow point to lift up, and roll the skin of the forearm from the outer elbow to the inner hand. The root of the thumb. Are you catching that, Megan? You look confused. This way? Yeah, okay. that's correct. So the inner upper arm's rolling out. The forearm skin is rolling in. From the outer elbow lifting, turn the skin of the forearm in. Turn the skin of the forearm in. Do you feel that stretch in the arm? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's change. Did you feel it, Rakesh? Okay, change sides. Left hand on the wall. In line to the shoulder, right hand on the hip. Yeah, when you point the elbow back, don't just throw the chest back. It's just to get the elbow back to get the shoulder blade in and keep the collarbone wide. So you don't overthrow. Get the shoulder blade in. Now press the heels, thighs back. Roll the left inner upper arm out and get the tricep firm on the bone and lift that outer elbow point with all the knuckles opening. All the knuckles flush onto the wall. Flush onto the wall. See, there's a gap still. Get each and every knuckle flush on the wall. But that's good, you have warm hands. Now, keep that left inner upper arm turning out. Keep that left outer elbow lifting and turn the fingers up. With the skin of the forearm moving from the outer elbow to the root of the thumb, roll the inner upper arm out. Keep the thighs back. Roll the inner upper arm out. Get the hands fully, that left hand fully on the wall, flush. Spread the heel of the hand, spread it. 
Get each and every knuckle on the wall. As you roll the inner upper arm out, get the elbow, outer elbow to lift up, outer elbow to lift up, and shoulder, the shoulder should stay down. The shoulder should stay down. <laughs> the outer elbow up and roll the skin of the forearm in. Okay, now release. Now this is going to be looking deceptively simple. <laughs> You're going to keep the inner upper arm roll out, but turn the fingers up from the outer elbow to the root of the thumb, turn the skin in. So the inner upper arm rolls out. As you look at your hand, that will help. Look at the hand. And you may have to crawl the fingers. You have to crawl and turn the fingers up. Turn the fingers up, uh, uh, up, but keep that inner upper arm, arm rolled out, thighs back, and roll the skin of the outer elbow to the root of the thumb, and get each and every knuckle on the wall. Yeah, roll the inner upper arm out, get that elbow to lift, and roll the forearm in.